What's up, guys? This is Pat with Ocean Grove Duca. Happy Father's Day to everybody it applies to. Here's my 2020 DIY for my dad and his gifts. We used a glass mug and a wood plank and some permanent vinyl. So it's going to be really simple, really quick. We're also going to create this within Silhouette Studios, mostly using a text feature. Just type out what we want, adjust that text size, the font, and getting it to lay how we want it to lay before we print it out and use some transfer tape to apply it. So with that, I already typed that out. We're going to change the font. So I don't have to manually split the text and silhouette. That is a simple process, but it's quicker when you have the font. So I bought it within silhouette. I think I paid maybe like a dollar, dollar fifty for it. Download it within my studios and bada bang, we can use it. So just scroll down to it and quickly split that text. We're going to resize it because we're going to add text within that text right there. So we're just going to click that text feature again and type out the date he became a father. So again, you can play with the text feature to change the font, the size and the alignment, all of those different things within Silhouette. Once you're satisfied, just move it so you can, um, again, resize it within the dad text so you can um, print that out. All right, so again, just resizing it so we can move this date within that dad. So once we get that date inside of there, we are going to group everything together. So when we resize one thing, we can resize both things at the same time. So I use like a tape measure I got. Um, I can put all those links in the description. That's what I use to measure the cup. So I know that size for that text as well as the wooden plank. And again, that's just something he can um, lay on the wall. I didn't make him a towel like I did my mom because I didn't want him to break it. Men are really rough, so my dad, um, he won't break something he can't so lay on the wall. So again, just group that, resize together. Then we're going to turn it so we can do one print because it has to be like nine inches long or wide. So we're going to turn it. All right, so again, we're just turning it, getting it ready to cut here. Gonna do a little bit more resizing. And we got it centered, and it's almost ready to go. So similar to Mother's Day, I almost ran out of time and forgot to make this gift. But if I hurry, I can finish it before he gets here. So I'm going to adjust this so I can get it to the size I need it to be. All right, so again, like whatever the design you can do, you can put anything. You can put like birthdays, weddings, dad, mom, memorabilia. You can do all types of things with these wooden planks or tiles that I did for Mother's Day. And it's already simple just playing with the text and resizing it before you print that out. Now, we're also going to show you how to do it with the with the mug. So with that, you're going to use to start with the text feature as well. Type out the wording that you want to have on that mug. The only difference is we won't have we won't be able to leave the the wording like in a straight line because the way the mug and the cup is built, we are going to have to curve those words to make it fit right on the cup and also look decent but that's just a simple process so since we're going to have them curved two different ways i'm going to type out the text in two different text boxes again you can change the font the alignment 
the boldness, all of those things within silhouette. You can play with that with your words. So we're going to go over here to the shape, get the circle. We're going to create that circle so we can curve these words here. And again, you can make that as small as big as you'd like because that's going to, you know how you want to affect the curve in your words. All right, so once you get your circle, we're going to go ahead and come over to the text box and double click it. Like we're going to edit it and it's going to bring up that circle. That's what you're going to move over here and curve the words. And you just move that circle till you get the, the curve in your words like you want it. You can move it all the way around. But once you get it where you like, you just click off of it. So with this one, you have to come on the inside versus the out because we wanted to curve the opposite way of that text at the top. So you have to come on the inside of it. Again, you just play with that until you get it how you want. Now, <clears throat> in order to remove that circle, you won't be able just to highlight it and remove it or drag it away. Um, it won't come off that way. So, like, for example, you can't just pull it off because it'll change the way your words are. So that's just an example of how you, a way you can't remove the circle. Now you're gonna have to ungroup it, but it won't let you do it as one. So like for example, you highlight everything, then you go to ungroup. It's everything is still gonna remain the same. The circle is still gonna be there. So you're gonna have to manually go in and ungroup everything before it will allow you to remove that circle. So you yeah, click that text box, and then you're going to right click and go down to ungroup. Then do the same to the text box at the bottom. And now you'll be able to ungroup it. I mean, remove this circle. And you can put the circle to the side or delete it, whatever you want to do with it, but you don't need it anymore. All right, now you're just going to go back in and regroup everything. Now, once you regroup everything, you can highlight these two text pieces together so you can resize them to the sizes you need for whatever glass or mug you're going to put that verbiage on. And to me, it's better to resize it together than versus resizing it separate. And once you get it to the size you want, just go ahead and print it out. That's it. All right, so I did add to the dad plaque with some dates. I showed you how to do that with the text features, the exact same thing. Again, since it's permanent vinyl, we don't have to mirror it. We're going to send it through as is because, again, um, we're going to use transfer tape to put that on our plaque as well as that cup. So send that through, let that go ahead and cut. Now, once you finish cutting it out, you are going to have to weed it. Now, weeding, this can be a quick process depending on how, how advanced you are. But once you weed everything out, just going to, again, get that transfer tape and apply it. So the same thing with the cup. 
we got it down to size. We're going to send it through as is because we're going to use that transfer tape. We don't mirror it with the permanent vinyl. So send it through as is, cut it. We're going to use green for the, for the mug. Now, here's the completed dad with the dates on it. So we do have some leftover transfer tape from a different project we're going to use to apply with the dad. So what I like to do is try to rub out as many air bubbles as I can. Just want to make sure that those words and letters stick to that transfer tape. All right, so flip it over, do the same thing. When you're comfortable, go ahead and pull that back off. Make sure everything is stuck to the transfer tape. Bam, and that's it. So now the only thing left is to place it where you want. You can put it however you want. I'm gonna do my crossword. All right, so basically when you get it where you want it, it'll be the same thing. Try to rub out the air bubbles to make sure it, it really sticks and applies to the surface. All right, so once you get it on there where you want, you rub out those air bubbles out. Same thing, you're going to peel back that transfer tape. Make sure everything does stick to your, to your um whatever you're applying it to. If you get to pulling that transfer tape off and one of your letters or your words start to come up, just rub it back down. Make sure you get the air bubbles out and repeal it, and it should come up for you. But you don't want to go too fast because again, you want to make sure everything is applied and laying where you want it to lay. And again, if something comes up, just push it back down with the transfer tape and try it again. It should come back up. I mean, it should stay down. And that's just about done. So again, he can hang this on a wall, whatever he wants to do with it, but it's not something that's easy to break. Alright, so same thing here. You have the stuff for the mug printed out. We weeded it out. I did cut it in half. We got a transfer tape on it. And we're just gonna apply it wherever we want on that on that cup, mug, whatever. Once you get it placed, same thing, you're gonna rub it. Down, try to get all the air bubbles out to make sure that it does stick and apply where you want it to. Um, and again, as you can see, the way the cup is made, that's why we have to curve those letters because it wouldn't have looked right if we just would have kept them straight like we did with the wood plank. And so once you get on there, just pull that transfer tape back, make sure it's thick. And with the trend, with the permanent um, vinyl, you should be able to wash it, put it in the dishwasher, all of those things with those layers still staying on. And do the same thing with the bottom letters. Rub the air bubbles out, make sure it sticks, and then we're going to take that transfer tape off. And there we go. So we got it on the cup, and that's the finished product of it. So again, 
That's showing why we had to curve those words. Pretty cool. I want to thank you for watching. Like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe and have a blessed day.